gorgeous. So you are ready to shift gears away from the average and sometimes mediocre existence into the sphere where you wake up in the morning, your ass is on fire with passion coursing through your veins and you can't wait to get started with the next aligned actions in order for you to make your dreams come true. Well, if that is you, then I have amazing news for you. I have decided to create this series for those who are ready to move beyond the basic SMART goals to working with a master level life coach to really create soul goals for themselves. Now, if that is of interest, stay tuned as this is part one of the series. And at the end of this video, I'm also going to be sharing a resource with you that I give to all of my private clients. And that is an absolute non-negotiable if you are serious about magnificence. Hey, my name is Al. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, please do subscribe, hit that bell so you can be notified every time that I create new content for you. And also let me know in the comments who you are, where you are from, and what brought you to this video today. Master level goal setting starts way before we even set the goals. And this is why majority of people just set the goals that they think is next for them in life with regards to achievement, but they don't find that lasting satisfaction and more important enjoyment of the journey, enjoyment of the process. They get frustrated. They get to a state of, oh my God, can this not just finish? Can I not just get to the end line and finally have some fun in my life? This is not the life that you were meant to have, darling, and it's not the experience that you have to create. But in order for you to shift this experience, you have to start at the very beginning, which is level one, you. When last have you taken the time to do some deep introspection, shutting out the world, disconnecting from social media, and just going within to hear the whispers of your heart's desires, to know who you are, what you truly want, what is important to you, and from this space, show up unapologetically certain and confident ready to take the next step in order for you to live your dream life. The main reason this is essential is that if you don't first do the work to reconnect with yourself, what happens is you set goals out of your shadow self. Now your shadow self is the one that wants to belong, that is afraid of not being enough, not being good enough, that is seeking approval. And the catch 22 of this is that not only do you set goals for the sake of appearance, but it's because of your concern with appearance that you will never give yourself permission to succeed. Part of the journey of success is failure. And those people who are concerned with appearance, concerned with judgment from others, concerned with criticism from others, do not allow themselves to fail. Because that would mean that people would think less of them. It's one of the greatest reasons most sabotage their dream lives in order for the sake of belonging. So can you see that when you start setting goals from this shadow space that you will only set the goals that you think will have you look good in the eyes of others. Now this gets even more confusing with this whole online world that we have created People think that certain things will bring them joy and happiness. They have started believing that success is dependent on the amount of money in your bank account, the size of your email list of your social media following. And in the meantime, if that is not their true soul desires, and yes, for some people it is, and for some people it's not. If it's not your true soul desires, you will work, you might even achieve those results, but you will never find happiness and inner peace. 
my recommendation is always that you disconnect from social media for a minimum of a week, preferably two weeks, giving yourself time to detox from all the influences, the external influences on your life so that you can reconnect with the things that really light you up, that really bring you joy, that really inspire you to be your best version self before delving into what it is that you truly desire. Now, I'm also going to say the foundation work has to be in place, and that is radical self-love, self-acceptance, self-appreciation, and self-respect. If those four pillars are not solid in place, my recommendation is that you work with a certified life coach who will be able to connect you to that energy from which you can then start creating what it is you really want from a space that feels good, aligned and have you proud of being the woman you are every single day. Can you feel the difference between creating a vision from a space of, oh my God, what is next? What do I need? What do I need to do? What do I need to achieve in order for me to be enough, to feel enough, to feel worthy, to get respected by other people, to get accepted by other people, to belong to the tribe versus, mm, 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 I absolutely love accept, appreciate and respect myself and from this space, the vision that I choose to create, the life experience I choose to create is this, from knowing that I am enough, from knowing my worth, from knowing who I am, what I choose, what I value, what is important to me and then sharing this magnificent experience of you with the rest of the world. This is where we truly commit to being our best version selves. And if every single person just chose to be their best selves every single day and a little bit better every single day, what an amazing world we would be living in where there is no competition for resources, where we once again connect to our personal creativity and resourcefulness and we start collaborating and co-creating from a space of love, respect, acceptance and appreciation of ourselves and then of everybody else. The first thing I want to share with you today is some journaling questions that will just open you up to connecting to who you truly are underneath the facade and this does take courage and it does take a lot of compassion and it does take a willingness to be vulnerable, a willingness to see yourself for who you truly are knowing that you are safe without all the personas and the masks. But again, if you really want to delve deep into this, my recommendation is that you work with a professional life coach who can hold that space of introspection for you so that you can delve even further and see beyond your blind spots. So here are some questions that I want you to start journaling on today. Now that I am the epitome of self-love, what my heart desires is. Now that I am the epitome of self-love, I am surrounded by people who, now that I am the epitome of self-love, I spend my time doing, now that I am the epitome of self-love, I think about, now that I am the epitome of self-love, I feel, and now that my life reflects radical self-love, self-acceptance, self-appreciation, and self-respect, what is observed is... Trust that the answers are inside of you. Trust that you know. And more importantly, once you connect to what it feels like to really love yourself, trust that you can, in fact, access your deepest heart desires. Now, as always, I recommend that you put aside at least 30 minutes a day to delve into these journaling prompts and do them again and again for the next week. Go even deeper. Once you have solidified that first level of desires, ask yourself, well, now that all of that is in place, what is next? And then go another level deeper. And now that all of that is in place, what is next? 
Do this for a week and you will start uncovering what you truly desire. And of course, if you want to take this even deeper, do not go onto social media during this week because it will actually confuse you. You will start comparing your desires to what everybody else is having or saying they have or saying that you should desire and it will take you off course again. You deserve a week to yourself to really delve into your desires and getting to know yourself on a much deeper level. The resource I'm sharing with you today is self-love journaling prompts to just help you open up to a deeper level of love and appreciation and acceptance for yourself as well as a forgiveness ceremony. Now why forgiveness? Because majority of the time if we have not connected to deep and radical self-love it is because of things that have happened in our lives that we are holding on to with a negative energy and as long as as we hold on to the events with a negative energy there's always a blame and victimhood vibration around that instead of dropping into what is the gift of strength that I can now claim for myself and also we always blame ourselves for getting us into those situations and so we want to forgive ourselves first and foremost so that we can start living from a new vibration as you always do set the tone. I will put the link for the library in the description. So just delve in there. There's way more resources in there as well. But if you want to do this goal setting series, my recommendation is stick to those at this time. I'd love to hear from you. Have you ever taken the time as part of your goal setting process to delve into this part? And if not, what is the commitment that you are making for yourself moving forward so that you can start setting those soul aligned goals that will increase your inner peace, your vibration and your ultimate happiness. That is what life is all about, darling. If you loved this content, please like, share and comment so we can get more people to move beyond setting mere smart goals from a shadow space and start setting soul goals from a space of radical love. And in this way, we will increase the vibration of the world to a new frequency of love, truth, honor and trust. Always remember, darling, you set the tone. Have an amazing week further. Cheers.